We have leopards. So we've got just about all the large cat species are represented, and we do have bears, and we're right at about 110 animals right now. And that all started from one animal? Yes. And can you explain how you, how the animals end up here? Yes. So it really started with private ownership, like I said, back in the 70s. You know, there was this, um, owning a big or an exotic cat was like a status symbol. So it was neat to be seen with a cheetah or neat to be seen with a tiger. That's my tiger. You know, I've dominated this wild animal. It couldn't be further from the truth, but a lot of people bought the myth. There were a lot of breeders out there that were selling these animals. And people would take this tiger cub home, and then, yeah, it's a lot of fun until it's fully grown, 600 pounds, and now you're afraid of your pet. And you don't have a proper place to keep it, to give it proper exercise. Well, you can't call the local pound. You can't ask your local humane society to take this animal off your hands. So that's why we exist. There needed to be some place where they could give these animals a, a lifetime, 